Once upon a time in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? town it's a quiet village every day like the one before little town full of little people waking up to say bonjour 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 there goes the baker with his tray I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and an ogre and... Oh, that's nice, dear Marie! The baguettes! Hurry up! Oh, that girl is strange, no question. Dazed and distracted, can't you tell? Put your hands up on some Put it down. Have you got anything new? Not since yesterday. Well, that's all right. I'll borrow this one. That one? But you've read that already twice. Well, it's my favorite. Far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. Well, if you like it all that much, it's yours. But, sir. I insist. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Look, there she goes, I promise.
very different from the rest of us. She's only one of the rest of us. Yes, different from the rest of us. It's true. Whoa! I got it! 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 <laughs> wow! You didn't miss a shot, Gaston. You're the greatest hunter in the whole world. I know. No beast alive stands a chance against you, and no girl for that matter. It's true, LeFou, and I've got my eyes set on that one. The inventor's daughter? She's the one. The lucky girl I'm going to marry. But, but she's... The most beautiful girl in town. I know, That but... makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do. I just mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she who is beautiful as me. So I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. But there he goes, isn't he dreamy? Monsieur Gaston, oh, he's so cute. Be still, my heart, I'm hardly breathing. He's a giant, tall, dark, strong, and handsome prince. Good day, you call this bacon? Some cheese? Excuse me, I'll get the knife. Please let me through. like to use their imagination. You know, Belle, it's about time you got your head out of these books and started paying attention to more important things. Intent. Ah, oh, like you? Exactly. The whole town's talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas and thinking, voting. Oh, yeah. Gaston, you are positively primeval. Why, thank you, Belle. Now, what do you say you and me take a walk over to the tavern and take a look at my trophies? Oh, what do you say we don't? Come on, Belle. I think I know how you feel about me. Oh, you can't even imagine. Oh, Gaston, please, I have to get inside to help my father. <laughs> that crazy old loon, he needs all the help he can get. <laughs> well, don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about a father that way. Well, my father's not crazy. He's a genius. What's a genius? Now, LeFou, I want you to go out into the woods and bring me back the biggest, healthiest deer you can find. Oh, not the woods. You know I hate the woods. Just get me a deer for my wedding feast. Oh, but I hate the woods. It's smoky. It's scary. There's bugs and spiders. Well, Papa, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. But I can't for the life of me figure out why that happened. If this isn't the stubbornest piece of... Ow, ow, Papa. Ow, ow. Oh. 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 I'm about ready to give up on that hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get that boneheaded contraption to work. Well, yes, you will. And you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. <laughs> and become a world-famous inventor. Do you really think so? You know I do. I always have. <laughs> well, then, let's get cracking. This thing's not going to fix itself. Now, where did I put my dog-legged clencher? Oh, Papa. Oh, thank you. So, did you have a nice time in town today? Well, I got a new book. Oh, you do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa, 
If I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Oh, don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter, odd? <laughs> Where would you get an idea like that? Oh, I don't know. It's just that, well, people talk. Uh, well, they talk about me too. No, we're not odd, it's true. No family could be saner, except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say or do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I should just accept I'm simply not like them. They are the common herd. And you could take my word. You are unique, creme de la creme. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty-eyed, there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish I'd feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. No matter what they say, you make me proud. My invention shows the world out there one day Just what we've got No matter what <laughs> Now some may say all fathers just exaggerate That every daughter's great <laughs> Well, you are No matter what the pain, we've come this far. I pray that you remain exactly as you are. This really is a case of father knowing best. And daughter, too. You're never strange. Don't ever change. You're alive. Quite my best invention, so simple yet complex, so massive yet so small. This triumph of design will be my old age pension. That is provided I could find the fair at all. I must have missed a sign. I should have paid attention. Rats! That's not a nightingale, and not a mating call. Keep away! 
Well, now you've done it. I told you not to let him in. We could not leave him as he was. Is anyone home? If we keep quiet, maybe he'll go away. Is someone here? Not a word, Lumiere. Not one word. Uh, I'm sorry to intrude, but I, I lost my way in the woods. I need a place to stay for the night. Poor fellow. Catchers have a heart. Monsieur, you are welcome here. Ah, I heard that. Now, well, thank you. Step out where I can see you. Hello. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> Catchers. You're, you're a clock. And you're talking. Astonishing, isn't it? And quite inexplicable. Goodbye. <laughs> Catherine, I'm surprised that you wear your manners. If the, we got to get him out of here before the master finds out. Oh, this is incredible. Well, how is this accomplished? Really, sir, if you just... Ow! <laughs> stop it, stop it, I say. Really, sir, do you mind? <laughs> well, I'm stumped. It must be some kind of new uh, scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. Oh, well, forgive me. I, I've never seen a top. That's you. <laughs> Monsieur, you are chilled to the bone. Go uh, warm yourself by the fire. Uh, no, I forbid it. <laughs> Lumiere, as head of this household, I demand that you stop right there. Oh, not the master's <laughs> chair. I'm not seeing oh. this. I'm not seeing this. <sighs> Ooh la la. What a we? Do my eyes deceive me, or is this a man? <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen a real oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no offense, Lumiere. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, oh well, hello. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. I'm in charge here, and I... Oh. Coming through. How would you like a nice pot of tea, sir? It'll warm you up in no time. Oh, yes, please. No, no tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. There you are. Oh, thank you. Oh! <laughs> I think I scared him, Mama. Oh, well. Hello there, little fella. What's your name? Chip. Figures. <laughs> Careful, I blanket, monsieur. Oh. oh, I just love older men. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Bebe, you are always trying to make me jealous, but it is not going to work this time. Me? What about you with Simon? Jacques. Michel. Pierre. Véronique. <laughs> Véronique. <laughs> Lumiere, listen to me. We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out we've let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Cartwright. The master will never have to know. As I was saying, he's bound to find out sooner or later. <laughs> Should we hide, Mama? No, no, remain calm. There's absolutely no reason to panic. Lumi is right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. May I borrow this? There's a stranger here. Uh, uh, master, allow me to explain. See, gentlemen, he was sent upon by wolves. Who let him in? Master, may I take this opportunity to say I was against it from the start? Who dared to disobey me? Oh, dear. You have all betrayed me. <laughs> oh, no. Who are you? Uh, uh, Maurice. What are you doing in my castle? I lost my way in the woods. You're not welcome here. Uh, forgive me, I have my way. Oh, God. It's hideous, isn't it? Oh, well, no, I, no, I didn't mean to stay. You've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? No, no, I, I just needed a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. Please, no! So. I'm just getting married. Don't tell me a little thing like that's going to change your feelings for me. Oh, no. No. Never? And we'll still have our little, uh, Rendez Vuzes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Good. Well, if we're going to have a wedding, I suppose I'd better go propose to the bride. <laughs> What a 
pleasant surprise. Isn't it, though? I'm just full of surprises. For you, mademoiselle. A miniature portrait of you. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Don't mention it. You know, Belle, there isn't a girl in town who wouldn't love to be in your shoes. Today is the day your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. You've been dreaming just one dream nearly all your life. Hoping, scheming, just one theme. Will you be a wife? Will you be some he-man's property? Equation girl plus man doesn't help just you. On occasion, women can have their uses too, mainly to extend the family tree. Pumpkin, extend with me. We'll be raising sons galore. Each built six foot four. Unbelievable. Each oh. one stuffed oh. with every Gaston G. I'm not hearing this. You'll be keeping house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified. So what that you are part of this idyllic scene. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge. My latest kid roasting over the fire. My little wife massaging my feet while the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. Oh, we'll have six or seven. What, dogs? No, Bill, strapping boys. Like me. Imagine that. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We will be the perfect pair. Destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life. Are all's well that ends with me. Escape me, there's no way. Certain as do ray, but when you marry. So, Bell, what'll it be? Is it yes or is it, oh, yes? Uh, I just don't deserve you. Who does? Me. But thanks for asking. You know that, Belle. Always playing hard to get. She turned you down! For now. But I will have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. Wait. If she turned him down, then that means I still have a chance! Excuse me. Get out of my way! No! No! Yeah! Is he gone? Oh. Can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. Oh, no, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this provincial I want so much more than they've 
God plan. Hey, Bill, have you seen Gaston? Oh, you just missed him. Wait a minute. Where did you get that scarf? Oh, this? <laughs> Pretty neat, right? It belongs to my father. Well, finders keepers. Well, LeFou, I, I want you to think hard and tell me exactly where you found it. Hmm. No. Oh, think. In the woods. Well, harder. Near the crossroads, okay? Well, then he must be out there somewhere. Oh, LeFou, you have to take me back. Oh, not the woods again. But don't you see? Something could be wrong. You have to take me back. Not on your life. Oh, then I'll find him myself. Couldn't keep quiet, could we? Just had to invite him in, didn't we? Serve him tea, sit in the master's chair. I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish. Oh, Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? I mean, look at us. <laughs> look at you. What about me? You always are insufferable. But every day you become a little more inflexible. A little more tightly wound. A little more... Ticked off. <laughs> Please, spare me the stupid puns. <laughs> At least we're not as far gone as some of the others. You saw what happened to Michelle. Oh, she was always too vain about her looks, and that's exactly what she's become. A vanity. Little drawers, mirror, the works. And poor, poor Jean-Claude. Who? Jean-Claude. You remember him? Not too bright, dumb as a... A brick. The whole wall. Jean-Claude's a brick wall. Oui, that's him in the kitchen behind the stove. And you know Guillaume, the houseboy? Oh, that mealy-mouthed little bootlicker. I never liked him. He was always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. Perfect. <laughs> it's happening faster with some of the others, but we are not too far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we're the ones threw the poor old beggar woman out on her ear. No, but are we not responsible, too, for helping to make him the way that he is? I suppose so. All I know is I will eventually melt away into nothing. I only hope there's something left of me if the master ever breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl. <laughs> yes, of course, I can see it's a girl. It's, it's a, a girl! girl! Now, Mr. Mayor, yes. let me do all the talking. You! As head of the household, I should do most of the talking. Johnny. A word, just a word, that's all I'm asking for. Mama, you're not going to believe what I saw. Not in a million thousand years. Not in a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear. But really, it's the greatest thing. It's the thing that everybody's been waiting for since, 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 I don't know when. All right, Chip, what is it? There's a girl in the castle. Oh, bless my soul, wouldn't that be lovely? But there <laughs> is, I saw her. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up wild stories, getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. Mrs. Potts, did you hear? There's a girl in the castle. <laughs> See, I told you, she's real pretty, too. Well, I don't know about that. Ah, <sighs> oh, God, for, this is the one, the girl we've been waiting for. She has come to break the spell. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. After all these years, oh, happy, happy day. Mwah. Stop she, it. Mwah. Stop that. We should tell the others, no? Yes! I mean, no! I mean, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father! Belle? Is that you? Oh, Papa! Belle! How did you find me? Oh, your hands are like ice! We have to get you out of here. Belle, listen, you must leave this place. So who's done this to you? There's no time to explain, please. Just go now! I won't leave you here. <laughs> who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Well, then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once! I am the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Get out. No, wait, please! Let him out! 
Can't you see he's not well? <coughs> then he should not have trespassed here. But, but he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home, uninvited, and now he'll suffer the consequences. Oh, please, I'll do anything. There's nothing you can do. No, wait, please. I said, there's nothing you can do. Well, take me instead. No! What did you say? Take me instead. Bell, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that. You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here forever. No! Forever? Forever, or he dies in the dungeon. <laughs> but that's not fair! Wait. Come into the light. Make your choice. Now, listen to me! I'm old! I've lived my life! You have my word. Done. No, please. No, please, please, sir, don't do this. Please. Wait, wait Papa. Wait. Please, sir, don't do this, please. Take him to the crossroads. No, please, spare my daughter. Papa. Please. Papa. 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 No, please, no, please. Uh, master, Ma master, please. Since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time, you, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. You didn't let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. And you didn't let me say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? But I thought that... Do you want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me. This is your home. You are free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in the it's West It's forbidden. Wing? You are never to set foot there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This way is your room. I hope you'll be comfortable there. If you need anything, my servants will attend to you. One more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request. choice. For Papa, I will stay. But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way, you monster! If you think that what you've done is right, well,
to make the world seem a bit brighter. Oh, oh but you're, you're Mrs. Potts, dear. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Whoa, oh, careful, darling. Oh, who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me? Oh, sorry. You see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe, the brightest star to ever grace the stage, but fall under one little spell. Shh, wait, this is impossible. Oh, I know it is, but here we are. Well now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? This is nice, but, but how would you like to borrow one of my counts? Let's see what I got in my drawers. <laughs> oh, I have drawers. Oh, I like what's in. Oh, oh, yes. I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer of fitting into it now. <laughs> Here! Dang it! Oh, that's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Don't be silly, you heard the master. Well, he may be your master, but he's not mine. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just all happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then Belle, it's you. Town half as manly 
perfect a pure paragon. You can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. No! Well, cleft in his chin like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. I wanna die that Gaston. Give five hurrahs, give twelve minutes. Gaston is the best, and the rest is all dress. No one fights like Gaston, now his legs like Gaston. In a wrestling match, nobody fights like Gaston. To spare. Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny. That's right, and every last inch of me's covered with hair. One hits like Gaston, and he sweeps like Gaston. In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expectorating. Do it! Ten points for Gaston! When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. Now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a barge. Ooh, I'm afraid I've been thinking. 
a dangerous pastime? I know, but that wacky old coot is Belle's father, and his sanity's only so-so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If we... Yes. Then we... No, would she? Guess. Now I get it! Let's go! No one plots like Gaston. Takes cheap shots like Gaston. Plans to persecute harmless crackpots like Gaston. You're so endlessly, wildly resourceful. As down to the depths you descend. I won't even be mildly remorseful. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. Who's got brains like Gaston? Entertained like Gaston. Who can make up these endless refrains like Gaston? So his marriage we soon will be celebrating. My what a guy, Gaston. Is dinner ready, Mrs. Potts? Oh, just about. I haven't the foggiest idea what she likes to eat, so I've cooked up everything in the kitchen. <laughs> good, good. <gasps> oh! Well, don't just stand there gaping. Get back to work. Y you tell him. I can't. Tell me what? Now, don't get upset, but you have something on your back. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is that? It appears to be a winding handle of sorts. Well, get it off me! It won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? It wasn't there last night when I went to bed. Where did it come from? Why is this happening to me? It's the spell, I'm afraid. Just try to relax. Relax? Relax? How can I relax with this appendage on my back? Is there no dignity left for me? What's going to go next? My mind? Calm down, it will be all right. I frightened Lumi. <laughs> I know, my friend, but you are not alone. We're all in this together. It's time for dinner. Where is she? Yes, well, perhaps I should go and see about her. Won't be a minute. <laughs> I told her to come down. What's taking so long? You try to be patient, sir. The girl lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Uh, master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Ah, good, good. So, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell will be broken, will be human again, my minute. It's not that easy, Lumiere. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful and... Well, look at me. He has a point. Shh. <laughs> you must help her to see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you could start by trying to make yourself more presentable. Uh, straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above, above all, all what? You, you must control, control your, your temper. temper. Well, what? Where is she? Who? <laughs> oh, the girl. Yes, actually, she's in the process of uh, circumstances being what they are. <clears throat> she's, um, not coming. She's not coming. What? Did you say? She's not coming! We'll see about that! Your Excellency! Your Grace! Your, your Eminence! Let's not be hasty! Cogsworth, stand aside. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I am telling you to come down to dinner. 
And I said I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can. Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? Then how about this? If you do not join me for dinner, I will drag you by your hair. Uh, master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. <laughs> Please, attempt to be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. So you admit you're being a bully. Deep breaths, master. Deep breaths. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Ah, uh, p, 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 please, please. Please. No, thank you. Fine, then starve. Uh, master, please. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. I don't know what we were thinking. We will never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter as he runs through these halls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. Mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumiere, stand watch at the stairs, and if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. Oui, mon capitaine. I ask nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do? Beg? Show me the girl. I know the master can seem temperamental, but underneath all that matted fur, he's really not such a bad fella. Why don't you give him a chance? Well, why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no, but once you get to know him... Well, I don't want to get to know him. I don't want anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that which was gone and left me in this state. An object of revulsion and derision. Hated is that no one who can show me how to win the world's forgiveness. No. Uh, well, what did they say? They shower her with compliments, impress her with her, your wit. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentle man. Come to me, my little fluff. <laughs> oh, it's my hands, isn't it? You do not love me anymore. Oh, this horrible, horrible spell. <laughs> oh, sorry, you cut me to the weak. Do you think a little thing like that would change my feelings for you? Now you really tickle my fancy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I have been burned by you before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, madam, I am a little hungry. Oh, I'll ring for Mrs. Potts, and uh, while we wait, I'll give you an audio. That's all right. Uh, I'll go myself. What about the master? He's not going to like this. I know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. I like that girl. I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he did say please. I think that may be the first time I've ever heard him use that word. I believe you're right. You see, she's already starting to be a good influence on him. 
Oh, there you are. D nice to see you out and about. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. Cogsworth, the girl, she is gone. I swear my eyes never left. Uh, <laughs> Enchanté, mademoiselle. That is to me, yeah. Stop it. Stop that. <laughs> if there is anything we could do to make your stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all. Well, actually, uh, I am a little hungry. Except that. Cogsworth. Well, you heard what the master said. Oh, pish tosh. I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. Fine. Glass of water, crust of bread. Cogsworth. She is not the prisoner. She is our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. All right, dinner, but keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our necks. Of course, of course, but what is dinner without a little music? Music? <laughs> Monsieur Mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, oh, hot or de wine, we only live to serve. Try the great stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes, they can sing, they can dance. After all, miss, this is France, and a dinner meal is And then you'll be our guest. We are guests. Be our guest. Be fragu, cheese souffle, pie and pudding on flambe. We'll prepare and serve with flair and culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared, but the penguins are prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flat wears entertaining. We don't joke. Oh, I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. And it's all in perfect taste that you can bear. Suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Ah. <laughs> be our guest, be our guest, get your queries off your chest. Let us see for your entree, we man a ring, may we suggest. Try the quiz, try the soup. Without a soul to wait upon. Ah, 
past, those good old days when we were useful. Suddenly, those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting, needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. <laughs> Most days we just lay around the castle. Flabby, fat, and lazy, you walked in and oopsie daisy. Time. Off to bed! <laughs> well, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. <laughs> enchanted? Who said anything about the castle being enchanted? It was you, wasn't it? Oh, no, I figured it out myself. I'd like to take a look around, if that's all right. Perhaps you would like a tour. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not so sure that's such a good idea. We can't have you-know-who poking around you-know-where, if you know what I mean. Oh, perhaps you'd like to take me? I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, I do. May I draw your attention to our hand-painted ceilings, complete with cherubs, frolicking amidst the nymphs and centaurs. And now, if you will note our unusual inverted archways, you will see that this is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I'm fond of saying, if it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> May I draw your attention to the flying buttresses above the aviary? Oh, Lumiere, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. If only he weren't here. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted, and that was the last time a stone of that weight had been quarried in this area. What's up there? Oh, nothing! Nothing! Nothing, there. nothing, nothing at all! Any interest in the West nothing. Wing? <laughs> ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice going. Oh, I wonder what he's hiding up there. Uh, hiding? <laughs> what an idea, hiding. Well, then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Well, perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. We have some exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Pretentious. Oh, maybe later. Uh, uh, perhaps you would like to see the gardens or, or, or the library? You have a library? With books. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> Scads of books, mountains of books, forests of books, cascades, cloud dust, swamps of books. Uh, books with pictures, books with words. More words than you could ever read in a lifetime. Books on every subject by every author who ever sets pen to paper. twisted face There's not the slightest trace Of anything that even hints at kindness And from my tortured shape No comfort, no escape I see but deep within is utter blindness, hopeless. As my dream dies, as the time flies, love a lost illusion. Forgiven, cold and driven to this sad conclusion. No beauty could move me, no goodness improve me. No pain could be deeper, no light 
much. If you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. Well, if you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. Now hold still. This may sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. So the ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon, either. Have you taken a look at the rose lately? It's losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it is time for us to give them a little push. We must find a nice romantic way to draw them closer together. I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Trust me. There's something sweet oh, and almost kind But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined And now he's dear and so unsure I wonder why I didn't see it there before Come along, dearie. Let's get you out of those wet things. She glanced this way. I thought I saw. And when we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. No, it can't be. I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up. My heart starts pounding, and I can't breathe. Good! That's good. It is excellent. I've never felt this way about anyone before. I want to give her something. But what? Well, they're the usual things. Flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. <sighs> no, no, no. This is no ordinary girl. You have to give her something special. Something that sparks her interest. Something... Oh! What? Are you sure? <laughs> oui. Well... Say something about the dress. 
Mm, it's pink. <sighs> a compliment. Oh, uh, what a nice dress. Thank you. Get the girl. Go, oh, go. Uh, Belle, uh, I have something to show you. Uh, but first you have to close your eyes. This is a surprise. May I open them? All right. Now. Like it? It's wonderful. Then it's yours. to read aloud. Come here, sit by me. Well, who'd have thought? Well, bless my soul. And who'd have known? Well, who indeed? And who'd have guessed it come together on their own? It's so peculiar, wait, wait and see. see. A few days, days more. There may be something there that wasn't there before. <laughs> Perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. Why? <laughs> There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? Shh, I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, Chip. Let's give them some privacy. Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever get to be a boy again? I hope so. When will I know? Soon. If it's to be, it should be very soon. Come along, son. Not that this was indeed the legendary sword called Excalibur. Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once, to no avail. He tried a second time, but still he could not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must mean he's king. Oh, wait and see. I never knew books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place. And make me forget for a little while. Forget? Why? What I am. We have something in common, you know. What's that? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different. And I know how lonely that can be. For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. And there from the people arose a great shout. Arthur is king. Told you so. You're still at it? Yes, and so far he has been a perfect gentleman. You know what, Mama? I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel kind of bubbly. It's hope, son. I've been feeling it, too. 
<laughs> ah, we, oui, my little friend. The day we have been waiting for may be at hand. If only that were true, Lumiere. <laughs> ah, human again. Human again. Ah, yes. Think what that means. I'll be cooking again, be good looking again, with some mademoiselle on each arm. When I'm human again, only human again, posed and polished and gleaming with charm. I'll be courting again, chic and sporting again. We should call several husbands along. I'll down off the shop. And to sweet be myself. I can't wait to be human again. <laughs> when we're human again, only human again. When we're knickknacks and whatnots no more. But I'll push the little shop thicker and worse. While I'll easily fit through that door I'll exude somewhat fair I'll have gals, I'll have hair It's my turn to be human again When I'm human again, only human again When the world once more starts making sense I'll unwind for a change Really? That would be strange Can I help it if I'm tete tense in a shack by the sea, I'll sit back sipping tea. Let my early retirement commence. Far from fools made of wax, I'll get down to brass tacks and relax for my human again. So sweet, the dust from the floor. Let's let some light in the room. I can feel, I can tell someone might break the spell any day. Alert, sit us pain and room. If it all goes as planned, our time may be at hand any day now. Open the shutters and let in some air. Put these here and put those over there. Sweep off the ears of sadness and tears and throw them away. When Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, and no one could ever make her smile again. That's the end. What a beautiful story. I knew you'd like it. I'd like to ask you for something. What's that? A second chance. Would you have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Me with you? Why, that'd be, I mean, oh yes! When we're human again, only human again, when the girl finally sets us all free, she's a blue again, we're a human again, we'll resume our long lost run and be. We'll be playing again, holidaying again, and we're praying to the day as we be. When we cast off this fall, such short notice, Monsieur Dark. I don't usually leave the asylum in the middle of the night. But this fellow said you'd make it worth my while. <laughs> Look, 
I've got my heart set on marrying Belle. But she needs a little persuasion. Yeah, she turned him down flat. It's like this, see. There's a danger I'll be thwarted and denied my honeymoon for the pretty thing I've courted refuses to swoon. So the time has come for a murky plan for which I turn to a murky man. And find that theme where, where better than the Maison de Lune. I don't take this girl for granted. There's no path I haven't hewn. To her heart, no seed unplanted, no flowers unstrewn. But quite amazing to relate, she doesn't want me for her mate. Which forces him to contemplate the Maison de Lune. I don't wish to seem a tad obtuse. But I don't see how I can be of use. For I lock people up, I'm not a lonely hearts club. I'm a cold, cold fish. I've a nasty, vicious streak. Please speak. It's Belle's father who's your client. She adores the old buffoon. She'll be forced to be compliant. She'll dance to your tune. We get the daughter through her dad. You just pronounced the old boy mad. And whoa, she slammed up in your path. The Maison de Lou. I make myself entirely clear. It's the simplest deal of my whole foul career. Lock Maurice away and she'll be here in moments. In a dreadful state, she'll capitulate to me. Oh, I'll be strapping up an inmate. Very tightly. Very soon. But please don't bring him in late. Our check-in time's noon. So I'll wave one bachelor goodbye. She'll be my bride. She then have her daddy ossify in my sordid saloon. So book the church, raise glasses high to the Maison de Tonight is the night, the night to confess your love. I don't think I can do that. You must! You care for the girl, don't you? More than anything. Then you must tell her. I can't. You must! There will be beautiful music, romantic candlelight provided by myself, and when the moment is oh, right... How will I know when the moment is right? You'll feel slightly nauseous. <sighs> no, 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 no. You will know it because you will feel it here. And you must speak from the heart. I must speak from the... I can't. You, you must. must! What are you afraid of? Nothing. Master? Oh, I'm afraid she might... She might what? Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you must find the courage to take that chance. Master, look at the rose. There's so little time left. Hey, this might help to bolster your courage. Oh, I really don't think I can do this. Ah. <laughs> you can do it, Master. I know that you can.
As old as time, true as it can be, barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly, just a little change, small to say the least. Both a little scared, neither one prepared. Beauty and the beast. Dance with me. Oh no, I, I, I. Dance, Dance with me. Ever just the same. Sweet and strange, finding you can change, learning you were wrong. Certain as the sun, rising in the east, tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Chip, it's past your bedtime. Good night, love. Belle, thank you for asking me to dinner. Well, dinner was wonderful. Belle, I. Yes. Are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone is so kind. Mrs. Potts, Lumiere. With me? Yes. I must speak from the heart. Is something wrong? Oh, I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. I wish I could see him again. There is a way. This mirror will show you anything, anything you wish to see. I wish to see my father, please. Oh, Papa! Oh, Papa! He, he's in the woods. I, I think he's hurt. Uh, I should. Oh, I should. Go to him. What? You should go to him. What? But I, what about? You're not my prisoner anymore. You haven't been for a long time. Take it with you. So you have a way to look back and remember me. I could never forget you. Belle, I... Yes? Go. Go! Go. I'll never see her again. And sire, everything is going just swimmingly. I knew you had it in you. I let her go. You what? How could you do that? I had to. I... But why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. That's it, sense. That should break the spell. 
It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late. No spell has been broken. No words have been spoken. No point anymore if she can't love me. No hope she would do so. No dream to pursue. So I finally know that I will always be in this hopeless state and condemned to wait, wait for death to set me. I don't remember what happened. All I remember is I was, I was falling. You were in the woods, Papa. I thought I'd never find you. Oh, but the beast, how did you escape? I didn't escape. He let me go. He let you go? That terrible beast? Well, he's not terrible. In the beginning, I was so frightened. I thought it was the end of everything, but somehow, things changed. How? Well, I don't know, but I see him differently now. It's funny, when I look around, I see the whole world differently. There's been a change in me, a kind of moving on. No.
Good afternoon. Monsieur Dark. I've come to collect your father. What? Don't worry, we'll take good care of him. No, my father's not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go quietly now. No, you can't do that. Tell us again, old man. Just how big was that beast? Uh, he was enormous. He was an eight, 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 ten feet tall. You don't get much crazier than that. Oh, it's true, I tell you. What are you doing? Get, well, let go of me. Tell me, Maurice. When did you first start having these delusions? It wasn't a delusion. The beast was real. And so was a talking clock. <laughs> Poor Bill. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know my father's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding, if... If what? If you'll marry me. What? Just one little word, Belle, that's all it takes. Never! Oh, no! Have it your way. Take the old man! Oh, stop it! It's true, I tell you, Belle! Wait! I can prove my father's not crazy! Show me the beast! <laughs> I'd say you had feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are! She's as crazy as the old man. She says this monster is her friend. Well, I've hunted wild beasts, and I've seen what they can do. The beast will come after your children. He'll come after them in the night. No, he would never do that. Forget the old man. I say we kill the beast. Yeah! I want his hide! We're not safe until he's dead. You at night. Set to sacrifice our children with his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time to follow me. Through the mist, through the woods, through the darkness and the shadows, it's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Say a prayer, then we're there. Drawbridge of a castle, and there's something truly terrible inside. It's a beast, he's got fangs, where's the sharp ones? Massive paws, killer claws for the feast. Hear him roar, see him foam, but we're not coming home till he's dead. Good and dead! Kill the beast! I won't let you do this! Try and stop us! Oh, Mama, it's all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you. No! I lost you once. I won't lose you again. We'll rid the village of this beast. Who's with me? I am! I am! I am! Light your torch, mount your horse. Screw your courage to the sticking place. We're counting on that spot to be the way. Oh, 
cute. Sucker Blue, a part of my master. Leave me in peace. What? The castle is under attack. It doesn't matter now. Let them come. Mon dear. Sooner. Maybe it's better this way. Don't talk like that. Everything will be fine. No. Oh, shh. We're together now. You'll see. At least I got to see you one last time. For you know 
I won't run away from today. This is all that I need and all that I need to say. Home should be where the heart is. I'm certain as I I... Yes? Oh, no! Wait, don't leave me! Come back, please! I love you! Look into my eyes, Bell, don't you recognize the beast within the man that's here before you? It is you. Oh my! Oh goodness me! <laughs> this is hot. What is happening here? Stop, Stop it! Stop, Stop that! <laughs> We're human again. What? The spell is broken. Lumia, come here! What is this? Let's go find your father. <sighs> Who was that young man? <laughs> that was the prince. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It most certainly was. Sure, he looks so <laughs> Hey, doctor. What time is it? I have no idea. <laughs> is it wonderful? I don't even care. better this way. Then you were lying to me. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. <laughs> well, maybe a little. <laughs> Lumiere, I like you better this way, too. <laughs> Madam, you look ravishing. Oh, thank you, Paltsworth. Do you like the gown? I simply can't believe it fits again. <laughs> it's magnificent in Excelsius. Did you know I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera? The king himself was there. Yes, my dear, I know. You were wonderful. Oh, Hobsworth. Oh, Mama! Chip! Chip! Oh, my boy! My boy! Oh. Are they going to live happily ever after, Mama? Of course, dear, of course. Do I still have to sleep in the
thank you very much for being such an exceptional audience tonight. As is the practice of our group on closing night, we take a few moments to acknowledge the contributions of those who work so tirelessly behind the scenes and ask them to join us on stage to take a bow. At the front of the house, we have longtime members, Edie Everett, Barbara Stewart, with our production assistant and house manager, Elaine Amodio. Our lighting was designed and run by Brody Thompson with sound design by Michael Einiger. The beastly makeup on our characters was designed by Natalie Moran. Special thanks to cast member Suzanne Winkler for utilizing her talents with children utensil design. A round of applause to Nancy Krauss, our assistant stage manager and properties manager. The, the cast was adorned with wigs designed by Nance. A huge thanks to you. Yeah. Our ever ready to help and review and reteach the fancy footwork seen on stage is our very own talented cast member and dance captain, Hannah Wasserman. Yeah. Our detailed set is the result of an awesome team of scenic artists. Come on out, Anne Louise Winkler, Yvonne Michael Lopez, Pam Perlowitz, and Carolina Winkler. A highly skilled group of beastly good men comprise our set construction and stage crew. A round of applause for Gavin McLaughlin, Kevin Lenahan, Kyle Price, Mark Fritchie, Peter Amadio, Brad Orton, Christian Bo uh, Bozinta, uh, Joe Randolph, Brian Winkler and Mark Perlowitz. We are very fortunate to have Peter Zitch at the helm as stage manager and lead carpenter. Our amazing costume designer, Carolyn McCaffrey and Company, has been attentive to every detail and has worked truly hard behind the scenes with such appreciation from us. Each year, Michael Winkler continues to outdo himself as scenic designer and master carpenter. Come on out and take a bow, Michael. Our creative choreographer, Lester Holmes, come on up. He made plates, utensils, and napkins dance. Our our dedicated musical director, Dan Walker, who loves the music in this show, give him and the orchestra a well-deserved round of applause. Last, but certainly not least, is a man who has been part of the North Brunswick musical scene for 40 years, a far fearless director, my what a guy, Michael Ritz. much for giving us time on your weekend and indulging us. Uh, the actors get a lot of attention and applause, and it's our tradition to recognize this incredible creative team who helps put this all together. Uh, hopefully, we are 48 years young. Uh, there are many, many people joining us tonight for the very first time, and they're joining veterans of our group who have been on stage with us for 25 and 30 years. That's what this program is all about. Hopefully you had a wonderful time. You were a great audience. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah.